And the never-ending character development continues with Parasite episode 10, I believe. This episode, yet again, just showcasing development in the characters, especially, of course, Shinichi himself. And it just felt like one of those very good, yet again, episodes of Parasite. So for starters, we definitely got to find a couple different weaknesses and a couple different strengths for the humans against the Parasites in this episode. Very important stuff for starters with the acid that was thrown on Shimada or whatever it was. I think ultimately that showcases that there is some weaknesses that the humans can use besides trying to shoot them with guns. Because as you can see in this episode, the cops were getting fucked up by using their guns. It wasn't really helping too much. So if they try and use these other tactics, like the acid that she threw on him kind of left him stuck in attack mode so he couldn't run away and blend in maybe they can try some stuff like that as well i think definitely the girl has to use everything that she's you know obtained the knowledge she's obtained and ultimately give it to the police so that they can sort shit out because what she knows right there is a valuable tool to make sure that they can't escape again yeah they'll be stuck in attack mode and they'll be ripping people apart but ultimately they can't hide again and become a threat later on and is it just me or does anybody else feel bad for the school like how many attacks are they gonna have now this is the second attack with people getting fucking slaughtered left and right dead bodies all over over the fucking hallways. It's fucked up. Like, this is one school I'm glad I never went to. And I think one of the most important things in this episode definitely regarding Shinichi and his character development was when he saw those dead bodies and for a moment he thought that it was Murano there. I think that was one of the major things that snapped out of him. And it was kind of a mixture of metaphoric and physical at the same time of a change within him. It was kind of like metaphorically, what am I doing? You know, kind of just looking at it from different perspectives and not just actually physically. But then also physically, it seems as though he got a pain in his heart. And I wouldn't be surprised if mentally he was able to, I guess, get rid of some of the extras. Because remember me, he said that there was extra pieces of him inside that he couldn't get back. Maybe somehow some of those pieces actually dissolved or got out of his heart so he can actually start feeling a little bit again because after that point you can definitely see a little bit of the old Shinichi that we love is back like you could definitely see he's starting to feel again even in the ending scenes with Murano and stuff like that you can see that he is once again slowly returned a little bit anyway to who he used to be so it's like a mixture of white haired Kaneki and black haired Kaneki for all Tokyo Ghoul fans and it's interesting because it's not backwards character development it's just a different type of character development because up till now he's been just developing more and more into like a parasite losing his emotions but him seeing these fucked up things and realizing like I do care it actually broke through so it's kind of like physically and metaphorically it's really you know a change and a struggle all the time for this character and it was 100% clarified for me personally that he's kind of changing a little bit back I got a little piece of his old self back when me commented oh yeah you're getting some of those strange habits back again because me up till now was like oh yeah you're talking oddly a lot like me but now the fact that he was saying that again means that yeah some of the old Shinichi's back and we think about it Shimada while Originally, if you look at it, you would think, okay, how much of an impact did he really have? Ultimately, like, he didn't really kill anyone major close to, you know, Shinichi or anything like that. But as far as, like, an impact overall, he had quite a bit of an impact. For starters, Shinichi changed in all this. He went a little bit backwards back to who he used to be. You also have the feds coming up with strategies now to, you know, defeat the parasites. They got confirmation about the parasites. They got a body of the parasites as well, so they could come up with different techniques to defeat them. And then you got people a little bit more aware and panicked, and at the same time, you have that little Little pulling hair thing now so I think he made a more bigger impact on the surroundings and you know just the situation in general rather than just on Shinichi so while he didn't kill any major character I think he at the very least had some sort of impact it's unfortunate though because it seemed like to a certain degree maybe somewhere in Shimada he kind of wanted to not be 100% like this but once he was stuck in attack mode it was like fuck and it was real nice and sweet to see Murano and Shinichi back at the end of the episode it's like I'm so scared for Murano because with all these fucked up things that is going on it's like at any given time they could kidnap her or do something to her to try and get to Shinichi and it's like I don't want to see that sweet and innocent girl die. And that hair pulling tactic definitely felt like something the real world would have where like the government is like, oh, we need to try and do something. So let's put it in through a fad so that way we can mask our true intention. Yeah, I'm a bit of a conspiracy theorist. And overall, again, a very good episode of Parasite. I feel as though maybe Shimada could have been a little bit more like I think we didn't get enough of the cunning mind of Shimada we got more of him just being like a monster and I was hoping for more of a mental challenge with Shinichi I'm hoping for that opponent that's really gonna out strategize him out think him but Shimada just kind of was more so like a brute in the end because of him being stuck in that attack mode let me know what you thought of this episode what do you think about Shinichi changing a little bit again getting some of that old self back do you think that that's a good thing I personally think that he has the strength now he has the I'm going to do it at all costs now but he also has has the feelings now again that he needed to 
realize I can't be doing this to the people that I love. I'm almost hurting them more than the actual parasites. And here are the thoughts of the episode. Kick-ass, very good episode yet again. But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well, that'd be awesome. I'm for the world. And as always, people, have an awesome day.